Why art? Because it's what humans do. That's what this species does. Why art? It's a long story, and I think we must. I think we must. I'm drawn to the public realm because that's in between everywhere else. It's in between walking out the door of your home and going to work. It's the in-betweens that I'm very interested in and what's the experience of in-between. I think of it as a piece of social infrastructure. Every place has a story to tell, stories to tell. The question is, what's the voice? I think it's the job of the artist to find those and reveal them. That's what brought me here. I started a little over four years ago, developed a public art plan for the town here in Burnsville. When I enter a project, I have no idea what I'm going to do, which is what is right, because I have to learn about the place, what I refer to as the deep ecology of a place. It's histories, it's vision, it's stories, it's landscape, it's indigenous rocks. The town, Burnsville, is named after Admiral Otway Burns, a admiral in the War of 1812. So I imagine him standing on his sailing ship, peering into his future as he looks at the ship that's coming over the horizon, where we go to the new Malin telescope and peer into our past. Every place having a story to tell is about the people who have elected to make the place their life. This area is chock full of artists because Penland is nearby. So I was curious to find out why are those artists here and how to bring them into the public realm. I want to infect those 15 seconds of driving by. I like to place things, events, along that path that infect that journey that articulate that path, that make it a bit different. It's the in-betweens of public art that, you know, stir the molecules of us as we go in-between from here to there. The thinking in terms of the public realm, which is our common ground. The contradiction that I think is often inside any good work of art. There's an inherent conflict. Conflict is not always bad. That friction is right there when you put those two together. For me, it's important to draw upon the people who live here to make the work and bringing them out and recognizing them publicly. When I was a little kid, maybe nine years old, I looked into a telescope and saw Saturn. And it wasn't in National Geographic, but it was right there. And I remember coming back up, just poof. And it's those moments, those unexpected moments of oddities, of newness, of, you know, what is that? And thinking about a place in a 24-hour context, in a 365-day context, and thinking of it as a stage for a pas to do. The event and the person, there's the relationship. Part of the, the telescope structure be glass balls because when you look through a telescope out into the night, you see spheres, that's one thing. Mm, amazing colored spheres. So we're in a, a universe full of spheres. I wanted to use that glass to make that. And I think that people coming, looking through that scope, it'll poof them. It would be my hope that this becomes a symbol of the place, a symbol of the art works, the artists that are here, 
and a draw. 